The presidential race of 2016 is already starting up, with candidates announcing their bid for the office left and right. People now begin to ask, who will be our next president? Hello, I'm Steve Graham. And I'm Madison Elliott. College tuition seems to be getting higher and higher these days. But what if we told you that you could go to college for free right here in Philadelphia? Or if you worked at Starbucks? We have all this and more coming up on LTV News, where the action never stops. Welcome to LTV News, where we bring you everything LaSalle, Philadelphia, and World News. There is plenty coming your way today as Corey Meredith sits down with student Nick Stahl, who is making his way to Hollywood after his Campus Movie Fest production claimed its spot in the top four movies. And later, Corey is back to bring us a debate panel on the latest developments with the presidential race of 2016. But first, let's catch up on what's going on around campus. The biggest news around LaSalle is our new woman in charge, Professors, students, and university employees spent their afternoon in the Union Ballroom on April 8th, officially welcoming newly elected president Dr. Colleen Hainich to LaSalle University. The new president has been to campus for small meetings and a basketball game, but the event marked Hainich's first appearance open to the entire university. The Canadian spoke briefly to the crowd about her plans to further embellish LaSalle's reputation and integrity on the East Coast, in the city of Philadelphia, and most importantly, in the surrounding impoverished neighborhoods. Hainich was bubbling with excitement, anxious to join the gracious LaSalle community. She did note, however, that there was one thing missing from the welcome party, a bit of maple syrup. Attention upperclassmen, are you still looking for off-campus housing? Construction is ahead of schedule for the Worcester apartments. However, space is limited with these luxurious apartments. They are expected to be open by early August. Be sure to stop by their leasing office at the corner of Clarkson and Worcester Streets. Don't miss out on your chance to live in these spacious rooms. There is a washer and dryer, free internet and cable, a fitness center, and easy access to Germantown Hospital if you are a nursing student. LaSalle kicked off its annual Spring Fling Week from April 7th to the 11th. The week consisted of fun events for all, especially those involved with Greek life. Sororities and fraternities battled all week in different competitions such as Greek Olympics, karaoke, penny wars, and a banner competition. The week continued with Campus Movie Fest and an outdoor concert at McCarthy Stadium. Student talents opened for the headliner, EDM artist Blau. And finally, the week wrapped up with a trash bass and a southern style LaSalle Palooza. Reporter Anna Gomez had the chance to attend the LaSalle Palooza and see the celebration to the end of the week. Take a look. Hi, I'm Anna Gomez reporting here from LaSalle Palooza where the brothers of AXP are holding their third annual Pia Crow event for autism awareness. Let's check it out. It was one of the first beautiful days of April for this year's La Salle Palooza. La Salle's impromptu block party set the perfect stage for sun, fun, and a lot of messy shaving cream. For just one dollar, students could throw a shaving cream pie at the Alpha Chi Rho brother of their choice, all for a good cause. Um, well, I guess it's just exciting. It's fun because you get to see I mean, people you know go up, just mess with them, put up money, and just hit them in the face with a pie. It's funny. I mean, everyone has fun. And it eventually gets to the point where brothers are just pieing each other. So it's good. Yeah. And uh, is there a certain technique to putting the shaving cream on the plate to get the most shaving cream on a face? It's like a, a spiral kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, just start piling and just pile it up, get real high. So that's really it. Amidst all the fun and excitement, the brothers did not forget the powerful message behind why they were doing it. Um, we're really willing to do it, uh, to do anything we can to help. Um, you know, I know plenty of people who have autism, and it's just kind of something that's uh, near and dear to our hearts. Well, it's easy to tell how the brothers of AXP are really committed to autism awareness. For LTV News, I'm Anna Gomez. Looks like the day was a big success. Thanks, Anna. Speaking of Spring Fling Week, as mentioned before, Campus Movie Fest had its finale night showing the top 16 movies that made the cut out of 95 teams for the big screen this year. Backstage Pass reporters Brennan Devaney and Melissa Mendez took to the carpet to catch the buzz. Check it out. 